Well, hello. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Da Beer. We're last left off. Oh my God, dude, the hate anxiety, the most, the most uh, stressful uh, family holiday dinner ever. But we finally, finally watched the longest episode of The Bear, or longest so far. Uh, last season we had review with the shortest episode, and it was probably the best one. People have said that Forks is also really good, but uh, but I would say that uh, Fishes was definitely. Uh, a highlight of the season so far, but I liked it. Uh, I love that we got a full hour long Berzado Christmas special flashback that basically gave us more insight into Carmi, into old Mikey, into the, the family and what they were having to, the poor siblings were having to go through, how it ended. It seemed very apropos. It was a who's who in terms of just like guest starring actors and whatnot, but I love it. I love this way, the, the way the show is done and like how it's presented and I, just, I could go into it all, all, all the time. All I know about this one is I think we're going to shift focus back to Richie and it says he stages. So I, I don't know how many weeks out we are from the opening of the bear, but I know we have less than six. <laughs> but what more is there to say? We have the staff that already exists getting training. We're trying to hire new staff. We're trying to figure out the optimal setup for the kitchen, trying to build a better restaurant. We got Carmi taking some free time, hitting up parties with Claire Bear. A lot of moving pieces and things aren't still guaranteed. There's still trouble in paradise and it might all still go sideways. It could all fail. And old uh, Cecil B. DeMille over there could still, if it crashes and burns, I mean, he'll just sell it and move on. And so as you've been coaching over the years, what would you say are the most important uh, lessons of leadership that you've learned? The very first thing is that, you know, in order to get better, you change limits. And when you change limits, you're going to look bad and you're going to fail. This is a Coach K interview happening right now. And at West Point, I learned that failure was never a destination. In other words, when you are knocked back, you know, figure out why and then, then change. The other thing is that you're not gonna get there alone. You know, be on a team, you know, surround yourself with good people. Support system. And learn how to listen. And True. when you do talk, converse, don't make excuses. Good point figure so far. Figure out the solution. Is he real by the way? Is you that... don't have to figure it out yourself. I never I never looked into it. Hey now, wait, is, is, is Coach K a real person? I'll be damned. Leading with the heart, Coach K. There's several. The Rise and Reign of Mike Krasetz Krasuski? Krasuski? I don't know sports. I'm sorry. That's funny. I thought it was just like a book in universe, but no, it's... Uh, I like how the restaurants and places they go, and now even the self-help or whatever, guru, whatever you want to call him, the coach is an actual in like real-world thing. Looks delicious. Yeah, what, a, what an interesting life it is to be a leader. It's something. Hey, I'll take something. So maybe we're gonna have focus on Richie and Sid. Hey, we get to see your morning routine. Oh, buddy. Those dark circles. They don't. They only get bigger with age, my dude. I can attest to that. I don't think no matter how wet, well rested I am or feel, these these puppies never go away. But he's going through it. He still has his own issues. He's trying to work through. I hope he finds his path forward, though. I like Richie. I like now that we're in his headspace that we have this constant like raining like different noises going on. Where are we? This like a a nice restaurant or something? Jesus fucking Christ. Are you kidding me. A little art installation. This isn't their restaurant, is it? I feel like I've eaten at a sushi joint that looks like this. Change gives him anxiety, though. It's all new. It's different. It's so different. Nah, surely this isn't their kitchen. It's too nice. No offense. Again, the clock motifs throughout the entire season. Every second counts. Hey, Forks. No, no, I'm Richard. Okay. I'm Garrett, backway staff. You're Forks. Change your shirt. Oh no. This is going to be a nightmare. He's not working in the kitchen that Carmi worked in, is he? No, no, sure. That was in New York, right? He's going to get executive training. Oh no. Oh, this is in. I had to look in this man's eyes. This is going to be a nightmare. Every second counts. I don't know if this is actual, like, an official music track or not, but it's very effective. It's giving me the same anxiety that he's feeling. Oh, covering it up too. Oh no. 
get in the same headspace as he is. Chef, are we done with the forks? Yeah, chef. Almost, chef. Let me ask you, have we started shining f***ing forks since our first f***ing day? First week. Week? First week is forks, and if you get lucky, you make it to spoons. Can we chill out on the swearing too, How long please? am I supposed to be here A for? A week. All right. You want me to fork? I'll fork. I'm not gonna give cousin the satisfaction of coming home early. I can do my time standing on one foot. So let me get this straight. He's punishing you by making you work at the best restaurant in the world. Yep. It's punishing me for being ancillary. Great, let me give you some purpose then. Dry those properly. You see those streaks? That's bad. Thanks, Junior. Where's the boss? Which one? Big boss. Capo. Terry. Chef Terry's always watching. <laughs> oh, no. Fuck you, cousin. So wait, is he... Working at the best restaurant in the world. So are we still in Chicago or are we in New York right now? Also, what's the best restaurant in the world, huh? But these are the fundamentals he doesn't need to learn, though. Know the business inside and out from the ground up. No rolls too too small. He just needs to be open to it. I feel like there is a little bit of truth to this, right? Like, he's like, oh, I'm being punished and sent away. It's like, well, yes and no. I'm sure. Do something with Richie. She's like, like, give him something. So without fully just having him, like, go sit in a corner, he's like, well, how about you go over here and you pick up some skills while you're at it, right? I mean, while they're, like, assembling the kitchen, while well, he's... Unfortunately, quote, not in the way. Everybody incorporating what they've been learning. And he's just polishing forks the whole time. Oh, boy. All looks delicious. I mean, everybody else is receptive to it. Richie will get there. You gotta have hope. <laughs> My man's losing it. All forks and no play makes Richie a dull boy. Yo, Four weeks. Garrett. The chef. I've been doing this forever. Can I wash the dishes or something? No, we got the best dishwashers in the world. You're just gonna slow them down. Damn. That wasn't clean. I've been doing this for nine hours. I think I know what's clean. I'm telling you that's not clean. That was not clean either. Please do them properly. Yo, or they're goddamn forks. Outside. Jeez, Richie. Do you think this is below you or something? Man, I think I'm 45 years old polishing forks. No one is asking you to be here. I don't think anybody remembers your name. Nice try. You think I don't know how hard it is hiring people since COVID? We don't have that problem. You really drink this Kool-Aid, huh? Yeah, I do. Why? Because I love this, Richie. I love this so much, dude. Did you know that when this restaurant opened 12 years ago, it won the best restaurant in the world the same year? It's retained three stars because we have a waiting list that's long. 5,000 people waiting at any given moment long. Do you see their faces when they walk in here? How stoked they are to see us and how stoked we have to be to serve them? It takes 200 people to keep this place in orbit. And at any given moment, one of those people that is waiting in line gets to eat here. They get to spend their time and their money here. I'm sorry, bro, but we need to have some forks without streaks in them. Every day here is the freaking Super Bowl. You don't have to drink the Kool-Aid, Richie. I just need you to respect me. I need you to respect the staff. I need you to respect the diners. And I need you to respect yourself. Heard. You can be part of something big. Give respect. Lovely. I'll see you inside. He's right. Tonight's PONs include Kimberly Fox, oh. District Attorney of the City of Chicago. We have Maurice Sheets, Assistant Coach Person of Bulls, knows. as well as comedian and musician Bo Burnham. On 29 at 7.15, we have Tim and Jill Perry. Am I going to see my boy Bo? I should know. I, I'm, I'm wearing the wrong shirt. If he shows up. Wardrobe change for sure, but oh my god, I didn't know that dude is Bo. If Bo shows up in the bear, my life is complete. My life is made right now. They're both Elmhurst High School teachers, and according to Jill's Instagram, it's always been her dream to dine at a three-star restaurant, and they have been quote saving up for this. 
I want to go above and beyond tonight. Every supplement and caviar piece, I love a this. tour of the kitchen, a champagne tour in the gallery as well. And guys, we're not going to let these people spend a dollar. Do not drop a check. I want to blow their fucking minds. I love that. Last thing. I love that. Still, I love see these restaurants like this. The day that I. I'm a foodie. I love food, but like budgetary constraints. But if I could afford to do stuff like that, where you find a, I'm talking like a fine dining restaurant like this, where they research the damn clientele prior to arrival to custom tailor and make it an experience where they truly give a shit about it all. That's, oh my God, that's just one time. I've had lovely tasting menus in my life. I've been lucky enough to eat at some nice restaurants where I go on a little a little culinary journey or I have just a good dish here or there, but an experience like that, that'd be just, just once I'll, I'll have to do it at some point, whether it's here in the States or in a different country, but I would, I'd love to go to a place like this. Just It's the same way that I feel when I find people that respect like, movies or television or games the same way that i do it's that when you are in an environment where people respect and appreciate something as much as you do and take it as seriously as you do it's just all the, it's all the better maybe it's like echo chamber i hard to say but you know no one is owning up to the smudge i love this i want to clarify that it's not so much the smudge but rather the fact that no one is taking responsibility for the smudge we're not children it's okay to make mistakes we can smudge things but we need to own up to them with immediacy, integrity, and honesty. Is he the, the is he the chef? Does anyone want to talk any more about the smudge? Couple menu updates. Uh, oh, he's the chef. Okay. Per Chef Terry, the oh, duck no. will now be served with a uh, Conquer Great production. Instead of the cherry, we're gonna be adding a dish to the menu that's gonna be the six course of Dungeness crab with grapefruit and champagne. Did you talk about the smudge? Oh, no. <laughs> I know this sounds ridiculous. I am aware that I've had to say the word smudge 20 times in the last two days but we had to reset the plate with the smudge because persimmon glaze oh, was smudged which was set because we had to take it to a four top which meant we have to match the other three plates to the smudge plate which cost us 45 seconds 47 seconds, 47 seconds. now if you cost us that kind of time you sure shit better own up to it because we sure shit are gonna pay for it now get back to work Fuck you garrett yes chef F me <laughs> jesus at least Richie knows it's that way across the board, huh? Yes, chef. <laughs> Hi. Hey, how are you? I'm, uh, I'm great. I'm great. What's going on? Is Eve okay? No, she's great. She's totally great. Um, yeah. Oh, yo, uh, Jimmy, um, I got those Taylor Swift ticks. You did? Aww. Yeah. <laughs> she's going to be so excited. I know, right? This is incredible. Actually, I got three if you want to come. Mm. A little bit of hesitation there. You don't have to. No, 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 it's I, I that's so sweet. That's so sweet. Um I know you're really busy, so I wanted to just tell you something. Um and it's a little bit hard to say. Oh great. Pile it on right now. Okay. Are you alright? I'm fine. Yeah, I'm fine. Uh I just want you to hear it from me. Um uh, I'm seeing somebody else. I've met somebody. Frank to me. Mm. I guess she was seeing somebody already. I forgot about that. It's on me. What'd you say? What do you think she said, Rich? I said yes. He's like a really good guy. That's great, Tiff. Thank you. I, and I want you to know that nothing's gonna change between us. That's awesome. Um, Ugh, losing something like that, man. I, um, and I love you. Drowned out. Great. Get to go back to work with that on your mind. Awesome. Jeez. Oh, this kind of place, yeah. This is an opportunity, though. Richie can do kind of what Carmi did, but hopefully not as intense and as detrimental to his mental health. But if he can shift his focus and like become like really good at this and take pride in that it's like whenever you're at a low point you know interests or hobbies or even like new directions in life can often kind of get you on that that the right path right that's that's he, he needs he needs focus and he needs direction he wants purpose i mean he already kind of loves this to an extent but he could learn to love more of it richie could be great i'm sorry to interrupt i just wanted to let you know no chat tonight thank you so much for dining with us Oh. 
making others happy could also bring yourself some fulfillment and happiness, perhaps. It's worked for me in the past, for sure. Like, there have been things where it's like doing good and kindness and helping others can also bring, like, peace and fulfillment. I like how the clock is specifically 5.32, by the way. Or does that mean the alarm has been going off for two minutes before he wakes up? Oh, yo, dude. <laughs> it's got a nice little place, though, honestly. I'm still not positive where he is. Trailing today. Get changed. Oh. No more forks. No more forks. Purpose. Purpose, chef. There you go. Hey, <laughs> yeah, come on, Richie. Like yeah, man, that's the point. Hell yeah. Start with tables 10, 20, 30, 40. Well, you do feel so different forth. in a suit. Stagger the reservation by 15 minutes so we do not stack the kitchen. Start with the two tops, move to the four, so forth. All the servers take temperatures of the room. This is a lot. This is a lot. It's going to be interesting to see how Richie, how Richie handles pressure like this. This is, this is a moment, but maybe he can focus into this, but that's all right. They communicate. How do they do I'm, that if they can't speak? This is our hamachi. You can see that it's frozen in liquid nitrogen and curled, served on our basil gel. I think are a bunch of assholes. <laughs> Oh, I didn't know service did that. Sick. Is that? No. Well, he's on 19. Walk was everything fast. I thought it was Rebecca yeah. Ferguson for a second. Chef, what are all these different colors mean? Orange is a dietary restriction. Yellow is out of town. Green is a VIP. And blue means kitchen tour. And what about those notes? Table 15 likes to eat faster, so we speed up their tickets. 23 likes it slower, so we add an extra our moves not to back up the kitchen. 22 doesn't like people to speak to them. How do you know that? Know what? About the people eating. We have a designated staff member that researches each guest. Yeah, wiretap those motherfuckers. What's that ticking? <laughs> Wait list. The minute somebody no shows or cancels, we pull somebody up. How do they get here that fast? Oh, we'll send a car. Gangster. Okay. I love this, dude. I love his his willingness. Uh, Richie is such a ah uh, ah. Uh, I love I love a flawed character like this who is still like he's he's absorbing. He's asking questions. He's willing to learn. It's oh, it's great. This is this is this is the arc. The arc, I say. This it's crazy. How do you do this all day? I need you to stand in that corner and get the f out of my way for one minute. Five, distillation, eyes on four. 24, walking in five. Yeah. Two, I tasting moves on deck. Get them out fast, please, thank you. 12, oh. walking out. Let's pick it up. Every second counts. Yeah. Second Three, counts. going to 21. Pick up two hamachi, please. Yeah. Eight, walking in five. Triple check five, please, white chocolate allergy. Yeah. Every night you make somebody's day. Huh? You asked me how I can do this, and that's how I can do this. I think I see the pattern. Well, I'm very happy to hear that. Three, dude, one to 21. Dude, yeah. Richie's gonna walk back into the bear, sweeting his dick around, being like, all right, let's get this place into shape. I love it. Uh, one I minute table desserts, please. 19, go. 20, go. We have a birthday on 24. Pick up a cake, candle, and two balloons, please. Kill hands, please. My hands, Garrett's hands, please. <laughs> oh, Garrett. Yes, sir. Corner. Even the corner. Look at him calling it out. Come on, you got this, buddy. You got this. I'm, I'm hoping for you. I'm rooting for you. Come on. I'm nervous, but I'm cautiously optimistic. Oh, wow. All right. <laughs> we have the hibiscus tea surrounded by a series of small bites. And to finish it off, the hibiscus cloud. Beautiful. How do we eat it? It's my favorite part. Fun. <laughs> Language. Took the words right out of my mouth. Enjoy. <laughs> Thank you. See? You'll see what the appeal is. It's hoity toity, but there's a point to it. Cousin, come on. Hell yeah. You guys are right. This is solid. Relax. Chef. Go. Guest on nine, Emily overheard her tell her family that she was bummed that she was leaving Chicago without getting a chance to try deep dish. Got it. Chicago. Thank you. Slow down, eight and nine. Surprise on nine. What's the surprise? Take a wild guess. You're gonna make them deep dish. Nope. Oh? No. <laughs> You're gonna pick up deep dish. Oh my god. What's up, dude? Pick up for Richard. Corner. Corner. Behind. Behind on. Behind. Corner. Compliments of the house. Chef. 
Walk four, wag you to 21. P2 is no dairy. Pick up canopy for two. Behind these two canopy, go right into four more canopy. That six, you're going on two by four. Yeah. Faster, please. Fire six, rabbit. Yeah. Fire four, hamachi. One is man. non-dairy. Look at this man work. I'm looking In his for element, back on 42. Elevating yeah. it. Look at this. Three, going to 21. Pick up two hamachi, please. Basil gel. Kill yes, 31. 33, yes, go. Micro basil. Yes, chef. Micro basil. Yes. Language. Pick up Wagyu, please. Three, going to 21. Look at him getting into Send it, too. It. Chef, can I bring it to the table? Mm. Go get him, Richie. Yeah, Thank I you, love chef. it. And encouragement. Walking Look at this. On table nine. This is beautiful. Yeah. Gorgeous. Careful now, careful. Don't get too All right. fancy. Look alive, team. <clears throat> Almost there, just another seven courses. <laughs> I know you guys have probably waited Charming. a long time to be here. Thank you. Uh, but I couldn't live with myself if I let this beautiful family leave Chicago without sampling one of my personal favorite dishes, Pequod's deep dish. No. Oh, you did oh not hear God. me say that. <gasps> Manja, baby. <laughs> oh <my. laughs> God, you all are wonderful. No, stop it. You're wonderful. <laughs> you guys good on drinks? I can't uh, believe this. Good. That old fashioned's not going to drink itself. You guys want some Bacardi and Diet? It'll be in D. <laughs> Should I see some more? <laughs> Enjoy, guys. Lovely. Look at that. See? Because Richie's a good guy. And I, yes, it's like I said, it's that. just like I said when he was on that date with that woman who was a cold as a convenience store freezer. Like, Richie has so much charm. That was the thing with Richie and Mikey. Uh, both of them, honestly, is that as much as they would make mistakes and as crazy as they could be, and I've known people like this, a close friend of mine who passed, he was all very similar like this, as flawed as they are, it's this art, this skill where it's like, boom, char they can turn the charm, they can read it, like, if you can, just, if they don't always succeed, you know, sometimes the, the, the room reads can be a little bit off, but like, ah, dude, it's great, when he's into it, and he's knowledgeable, and he goes in with the right resources and tools, you turn the charm on, and then boom, you can, yeah, you can do it, you can do it, I know we could do it, like, it's as simple as that, it's just gotta, it's just gotta adapt with the times and all that innovation. We're, we're tackling similar themes as we're watching Succession right now, the whole mergers and acquisitions between, like, the old foundations of old, like, newsprint media and everything being so grounded and just, like, analog, basically, and the innovation of, uh, companies now getting, like, tech and whatnot, it's trying to keep the foundations there but then build upon that and be able to as long as you're accepting change and innovation and moving forward and advancing you can still you can have the best of both worlds and right there he had his Go. magic moment he made Four their seconds. night three seconds and he's doing tasting uh, apple cider gets streak apple cider gets streak that's my freaking boy right yeah. there right, <laughs> yes Go. oh come on that's bercy hell yeah really? wait no velote derivative that's an Alamon. Ooh, yeah, it sure is. Oh, oh, Lincoln! Uh, what year did the restaurant open? 2012. Yes, and what year did we get our third star? 2012, trick question, nice try. Correct. And lastly, what were tonight's specials? We don't have specials. We do, however, have supplements, including tonight's caviar pairing. Up your ass! <laughs> Love the energy, fool. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely can't be playing this part. I oh, yo! yo my man, welcome you, before the alarm. Stodge, there's ever stodged here? Get out of here. Oh, no, dude, probably. How old are you? It's an HR violation. You're not supposed to ask. Prof, Garrett, how old are you? I'm 30, dude. 30. And you're like a chef? What? You like to cook? You're like a... No, I don't like... Rattle the pots no, and pans? No, I don't like to cook. Why do you work at a restaurant? I don't know, man, because... The vibe? A couple years ago, I had a drinking problem. And I got sober. I'm good now, you know? Like, I feel healthy, and I'm happy, and I'm grateful. And through that experience, I learned about acts of service. And I just like being able to serve other people now. I get that. I did odd jobs when I first got into, like, employment and whatnot. You can skip this part. I'm just, like, waxing about my own life experiences. I'm sure there's some psychological reasons in there, but um, maybe it's part of me. It's the people pleaser, or that's how it started. But, like, I 
I started like anybody else did, like right, like getting like food service, retail, even uh, entertainment. I do. Uh, I miss laser tag before <laughs> they closed down. But I, but I've been in hospitality now for the better part of a decade. I've been like working in like the, uh, not the, the, the hotel, but like the residential aspect of that. And that's like primarily what pay, what, like pays the bills. There is something nice about like helping to like keep a community together. And I don't like phrasing it as like keeping them happy, but like, I don't know, there's something to be taken from just being able to be of service and help somebody during, you know, periods of transition or day-to-day -day life and everything. And just, you know, offering to help other people because in my case, or people like me, because we know how to do it and because we're good at it, right? It's like, I, I'm good at helping people. I'm good at like problem solving and figuring out solutions and figuring things out, being quick on my feet, adapting to change. And like, it's, there's some like joy being taken from it. I get that sentiment is what I'm saying. Like it, it makes sense. I don't like the feeling of being subservient to somebody, but like, yeah, like, I don't know about serving, but helping and working with, I mean, serving to an extent. Yeah. So that's, uh, I can, I can relate to that. Service. Yeah. You know, I used to work for this guy who used to say that taking care of people at the highest level was like working at a hospital, you know, like it was like okay. medical. That's a little much. I'm just saying, I think that's why restaurants and hospitals use the same word, hospitality. Really now? Yeah, oh shit. Hospitality. Hospitality, yeah. I wanted to say thanks for a fun week, man. It was dope. Thank you, my man. It's fun. All yeah. that in just a week, too. Um, That's crazy. You know, we have a new stash coming tomorrow morning, and um, I think we're all really going to miss you here. <sighs> man, I'm I just know. getting the hang of it. I know, I know, <laughs> I know. We have one more shift tomorrow, but yeah. Live it up. Let me ask you, like, what if, uh, I mean, I don't know what the situation is like, you know, but if yeah. something Down opens line. up, you know. Richie, that'd be awesome, but you know it's not my call. Yeah, see, I mean, he's, he's got a he's got a hunger I have for another it. job anyway. I am needed elsewhere. Thanks, bro. But see, here's the cool part. This just means that he can as as much fun as it is over here now, and the team and the the bonds and all that. As much fun as all that is, this means that he can take this and apply it to the bear, and then you know have that same family and camaraderie, but then do it at, at the bear. It's as simple as that. He went from hating this stuff to love it. I love it, man. Richie's character arc is one of my favorites right now, like in media. It's great. Yo, cousin, what's up? What's going on? I'm watching fact. I'm recalibrating. I'm watching fact recalibrate. Yeah, I'm recalibrating. We, uh, we failed the fire suppression test. Another Again? One? Oh yeah. my God. Yeah, we have one more shot. How bad is it if oh. we fail that one? It's fucking bad. Oh, shit! Oh, oh, shit! <laughs> I knew it. It's okay. bad, cousin. What do you need? Jesus. Do I, need? <laughs> I don't need anything. Just call and tell you I'm done. Yes, yes, no. That's right. How'd that go? Bro, you were going to f yourself. Fine. <laughs> Yo, I know you sent me there to get rid of me. What? Uh, to get rid of you? Fact, fact, fact! <laughs> I f told Would you. Would you? Yes. I was annoying you and you wanted me out of your hair. What? Oh my yes. God, fact, get it, hire an actual electrician. This is a conversation he should be having in person, not over the phone, by the way. Sent me no, 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 cousin, no, 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 I, I sent you the You sent me there to fucking humiliate me, you fucking jack off. Make me look like a fucking jack off. You're the fucking jack off, Carmen. What the fuck are you talking about? Yeah. No! Fuck you back, run. would you? Back. Stop it! Just stop. Yeah, I'll talk Take to you break. later. I actually think I hurt myself. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Oh my God. That's a better conversation to have in person. And I wouldn't have come at it so aggressively. Like, honestly, in that moment, you could have just been like, hey, like he didn't have to, I'm sure there was an ulterior motive to you doing it. He could have just been like, hey, I learned a lot. It's great. Just show through action. Like if you think, if you truly think that Carmi was doing that uh, like on purpose, then it, like, you know, like just get back, be professional, do your thing, and then just rub it in his face a little bit. Not like, you know, ha ha ha, literally, but like just through your actions and show that you actually picked up and learned and are evolving. He'll be impressed, he'll notice, you know. All right, how are we gonna end things, huh? Oh, pattern's all thrown off now. And he was happy there, though. That was crazy. That was cool. Clean it up a little bit. Nice. Hey, see? Once you get you clean yourself, you clean your space, and then you're in a better state of mind too. This is the final shift. Hey, I'm about to go over staff reviews. You wanna observe? Oh, uh, thanks. I gotta finish this last bin. Okay. Oh. We loved having you here. 
Thanks for everything. Thanks, Shift Jess. Aww. Aww. How sad he's going. Yeah, because Richie's a breath, a, breath of, a breath of great fresh air. Live it up while you can, man. Was oh, is there going to be a photo of Carmi somewhere? Oh, oh yeah, I see. I had a feeling they worked together. Are you going to run into the chef? You know where the polish is? The bullet keeps moving. Try that drawer over there. Oh, look who it is. I love that actress. What are you making? It's Olivia Coleman, right? I'm just peeling mushrooms for the lamb de tournette. Peeling mushrooms. Yeah. It's just a nice little fun detail. So when the diners see it, they know that someone spent a lot of time on their dish. Do you want to have a go? I love all the little guest okay. spots in this show, so too. So hold it like this. Mm-hmm. Knife, 1300. Grab the end and just peel. Like that. I, I didn't even know you could peel a mushroom. 1300, huh? Yeah. Do you serve? Dad did. Yeah, same. Staff sergeant. Corporal. A lot of standards. Yeah. <laughs> Turns out I like standards. Do you move around a lot? Yeah. Do you? I know Carmen. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry that he pulled a favor. Not at all. I don't do favors. How's that? That's great. Can I do another one? Yes, please do. Hmm. Now you take pleasure in the little things and helping too. So why do you do this? <laughs> I do it for a living. <laughs> no, but like, don't you have stodges that do this shit? Yeah, well, I, I like starting the day with this. Why? Respect. Feels attached. I think time spent doing this is time well spent. Time well spent? That's what it's all about? Every second counts? Yeah, I think so. When did that start? Oh, well, I, st uh, I tried to open a giant place years ago. I had all these accolades. I was younger. I was on fire. I was arrogant. And uh, I tried to move too fast. Couldn't keep the place open. And the market crashed. And I got killed. Public wipeout? Oh, yeah. The most public wipeout. So how did this place happen? Oh, no, that was on my... My 38th birthday. Mm -hmm. I was out walking all night, unemployed, angry, depressed, blaming everybody else for all the time I'd lost and the money I'd lost, all of it. And it was raining. And I was walking through Lincoln Park. My phone had died. And so I stood under this awning, waiting for the rain to stop. And I just stood there and stared, and eventually the sun came up, and it turns out I was right there. And then I walked round to the front, and I saw the sign. It was an actual sign. It was a restaurant for lease sign. Never too late kind of thing. Yeah, never too late to start over. How'd you get the money to open? Um, well, my dad had died the summer before, an only child. My mum sold the house and put it in here. Oh, family business. Yeah. You close with your mom? Yeah, she's my best friend. You? My best friend's mom was, was like my mom. Yeah. Hmm. What about your dad? Uh, yeah. <laughs> close to yours. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. I learned the most about him when I was packing up his house. All his belongings, like his whole life. And I found this stash of pocket notebooks that he must have taken with him when he was on tour. And full of all these details, like the palm trees he'd seen, or escargot he'd tried, or this time the ocean looked purple. And um, the way he wrote everything, it was like a reminder, like, uh, don't forget this moment, or don't forget this interesting, strange detail. Hundreds of these entries. Chef Terry? And he'd, he'd sign each one off the same way every time. Chef? Yes, Chef. Arno upstairs. Oh, thank you, Chef. Don't be a stranger, Richie. Aww. Say hi to Carmen for me. Yeah, well, how, do you... how do you sign the notebooks? He believes in you, you know. <laughs> what makes you say that? He told me. He said you're good with people. He's not wrong. How do you sign off on the notebooks? Nice talking to you, Chef. Likewise, Chef. Aww. Love the scene. Chef. Oh, oh. Uh, you never said what he signed off with. What's your dad? Was it every second it counts? Is that what it was? 
What do you want to bet? Great scene. Great scene. Mark of a good actor. In it for one scene, just a couple, a few minutes. Yep. What do you, I bet. That's what I was thinking. Very nice. What a, what a lovely episode. What a solid, lovely episode. <laughs> yeah, the same thing. That's great. That was solid, man. That was great. Yeah, Richie picked up some skills, learned some things, made some friends. And like I said, the charm, man. He's great with people. Carmi's right. Carmi believes in him. It's just the frustration of trying to, like, give Richie something he's good at when he doesn't have the same amount of experience and acumen, and he's so resistant and afraid of change. But I like that this season he's been very open to it, and he's been, like, actively trying to, like, be better, absorb, learn more. That... Mm, that that's 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 a tough call now between like i loved last episode but in terms of just like how this episode made me feel and how this one went this, i this might be my favorite episode of the season hard to say last one was very good but that was for different family drama character development anxiety inducing reasons but that was that was solid i'm sad we only have what three more left that was forks we got three more for the for this current season i think i might even like this season even more than the the previous one but that was great stuff we opened with a little bit of a little bit of sydney at the beginning a little bit of coach k kind of set set the pacing for the rest of it and then solid solid richie episode love it so yeah, that's all I gotta say. I have most of the commentary get out during the pauses and during the the course of the episode, so not much else to say at the end of it. But we have what did it say? Like five, six weeks left till open. So looks like we're gonna be queued up for the do or die fire suppression test next episode. Can't wait. As always, thank you guys and gals so much for watching, and stay tuned for more of Da Bear. And goodbye, travelers.